Hi, today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to make a good bass sound. My name's Andrew Shaw and I teach bass here at JMI, the Jazz Music Institute, where we believe in creating a world where everyone can play jazz. So, to talk about sound, what we need, first of all, is to talk about our right hand. What we want to do is have the thumb pointing down and anchored firmly to the side of the fingerboard. Then your index finger, your first finger, also is pointing down. So we've got kind of like a uh, crab's pincer, I suppose. Then we're pulling the string across the fingerboard. Generally speaking, towards the end of the fingerboard is where you're going to get the best sound. So we're not talking about volume, we're talking about making a good, clear, clean sound. So when we're walking the bass, we want a really consistent sound from note to note. Now you also have to remember there's no one correct way to do this. But as a general rule, this is a great place to start. You're probably going to listen to a lot of different bass players and some of them, you'll love their sound. So you've got to ask yourself, what is it that they're doing? How can I make a sound like that? So you might need to do some experimenting. Maybe they're up here a little further. Maybe they're down here. Maybe their bass is a bit different to yours. They'll all respond a bit differently. The other thing we want to try and do with these fingers that we're not using, we want to keep them tucked up. When they're all dangly, your sound will not be as focused as when they're tucked up. It's a little bit woollier. That sounds more precise and it projects more. It cuts through more. So you can be more easily heard. This is great for the band's time because they need to hear exactly where your time is. That means they need to hear the front of the note. So you have to have a good, clean, clear sound. Your thumb has to be anchored to the fingerboard. There's no reason that your thumb should ever come away from the board while you're playing. You want to keep it. Firmly planted on the side of the fingerboard. Sometimes you might end up using two fingers for a faster passage and that's okay. A lot of people will do that even if they say they're one finger players. But if you can try and use one finger, that's a great place to start. Thumb anchored firmly. It will help focus your sound. Now, it's not just our right hand that makes the sound. Our left hand is important as well. So we want to be playing more on the tips of our fingers, on the, on the uh, padded part of the tip. Not, not right on the tip, because then you're just pressing bone against the string, and that's not comfortable. The idea is to make it as easy as possible. So we want to use the tips of our fingers, the padded part of the tips. That will also help focus our sound. If we're using flat fingers, then it's a little bit, again, it's a little bit woollier. That's no good. We want to keep that nice claw shape, keep the curve in the fingers.
So then when you're playing, you've got this sorted out. You're experimenting with your right hand. You might want to try different parts of the fingerboard to see what is the sound that you want to produce. So another couple of tips are, when you're practicing this, don't use a pickup and an amplifier. Practice acoustically. That way you can hear the sound you're making. Don't worry about pickups, amps, or different kinds of strings. None of that matters until you can do it with your fingers. It all has to come from the fingers before you worry about anything else. It's like when you're learning to drive. You need to learn to drive. You don't worry about going and getting a Ferrari or a Porsche straight away because I need a great car to be a great driver. That's not the way driving works and it's not the way playing the bass works. So, there's a few tips on how to get a good sound playing the double bass. So thanks for watching. Leave comments, ask questions. I'll see you next time.